<laughs> We're an hour into the game, guys. We're into the stream. I've done one thing. Pog? Sounds like a stream. I'm just a just chatting streamer, actually, guys. Just minus the hot tubs. Sadly. No hot tubs on my channel. Uh, I need to make some steel. This game looks so chill. Just wait. Put that again. There it is. All right. Ba, ba, ba. Uh, it'll probably be a little bit until I'm done with this game, yeah. Dude, I saw that apparently people made some really cool blueprints for um, Dyson Sphere. Like, production itself. And apparently you can literally copy-paste those in your own games. Dude, I saw some beautiful designs. Blue Art Critic linked one in the Patreon group chat. I don't know if I can find that exact one, but it looked really cool. Using blueprints is cheating? Oh, no. Man, I can't play any game without cheating anymore. New subscriber detected. Low high. What's going on, Invisi? How are you doing, dude? Thank you very much for the continued support. All right, let's see. Did that not reach? I really need those better ones. Okay. Are we doing things? Oh, I probably need to set up the recipe, huh? Uh, the alternate graphene thing. Yes. Seems to be working. Chill in a good way. I could spend several hours just building and relaxing while just crunching the numbers to optimize production. I do the same thing except minus the crunching the numbers. Which bothers many people, bro. <laughs> I, like, one day I'm gonna, like, open a fucking Excel spreadsheet with a video game I'm playing. And I'm gonna realize how much I've been missing out on over all of those years. But that day hasn't arrived yet. Why not start today, Loco? Nah, fuck it, dude. Okay, so we want to set up uh, this stuff. Which requires three different things. Uh, so my production for all of those things is all the way up there. This is where my green conveyor belt production is at. Okay. Get the fuck out of the way, dude. Okay. This is my green conveyor belt production. We'll have to cut that off in a little bit. And then I need these things right over here. Which are another tricky resource to optimize. There it is. Uh, I guess we might need a... Oh shit, I need more conveyor belts. We might need to... 
Can I just... No, I should probably grab them over there. Probably need to make a splitter. But if I don't have to, I guess I should probably go with that one for now. Dude, I've got so much junk in my backpack. Every time I get, like, a small improvement... ...in inventory space, I immediately fill it up with more inventory shit. Like, we start with only the first couple of lines in the inventory, and every time I get an upgrade in the inventory space, I manage to fill it up within, like, five minutes. I calculate DSP with, if I need one, I make ten. <laughs> Not bad. Or are we still talking about watches? Or are we talking about consumerism? I'll start with a splitter over here, I guess. Bit of both. I get it, I get it. It does feel a little bit weird that Grand Seiko can make an announcement that they make 10 watches that are worth 400k each and they sell out the same day, right? That does feel a little funky. People are literally lining up to spend millions on things they don't need. Then again, it's their money, right? But yeah. Um, Grand Seiko NFTs. It is kind of like NFTs, except you can actually, like, you know, they're physical things. <laughs> uh, I need... Okay, I guess we're gonna go over the stone vein. New subscriber detected. What's going on, Mark? Yeah, it's it's it's, it's exactly nothing like NFTs. <laughs> yeah, that's the shitty part about it too. Exactly what Heart Never is saying, man. So like, a lot of those watches, especially, are sold to like the wealthiest, you know, people because they've already spent a lot of money at those jewelry stores in the anticipation of them, you know. But believe it or not, those people also, at most, have like two wrists, right? Most of them will only wear one watch <laughs> at a time. So, the vast majority of them kind of just have all of those watches chilling in a safe, hoping they one day become valuable. Or at the very least, maintain value. So, like, a lot of them have them, and then they just never use them. Dude, I have seen I've seen so many videos of people like like very wealthy people sharing their their watch collection and they literally have hundreds. And oftentimes they make the same dumbass jokes. It's like, oh well yeah, I forgot I had a second one of those. <laughs> it's like so funny, Michael. Shut, shut. Michael, why do you have two? Shut, shut the fuck up. It's not New funny. Subscriber detected. <clears throat> What's going on, Shiny? When speaking to a Dutch person, make sure to say heel veel. It means a lot to them. Hey. Hey. Heel veel means Dutch. Or it means a lot in Dutch. Like, literally. Thank you, Shiny. What does a Dutch joke sound like about English people? Oh, we don't really joke about English people too much. We just joke about Belgian people a lot. But to be fair, they kind of deserve... No. <laughs> no. No, Loco. Be nice. What I'm saying is they make it real easy. Oh, they're not my problems, Askan. No, no, no. I 
I read a lot on the internet about dumb things. Not with the intention of buying anything, though. It's a bit weird. I don't know. You need one watch per day, Loco. That's 365 a year. Ah. Yeah, there's a lot of very cringy and a lot of very snobby people out there, though, man. Like, another common flex that you will see in those, like, multi, multi, multi millionaire videos is that they have so many of those super high end watches that they don't even bother setting the time anymore. So, like, since they switch them so often and since they're automatics, they only have, like, a power reserve for a couple days at most. So they just literally. They don't, they don't, like, they, <laughs> they just fucking, you know, sit there and do nothing. I wonder if my conveyor belts are getting too long. Yeah, at least they're they're right twice a day. True. But it is a fascinating world though that I like you know, never really heard of until a few years ago when I started researching it a little bit. There's some like crazy rich people in the world. It's almost like they live in a different world sometimes. I was watching like some uh, apartment tours on Billionaire Row in New York, which are apparently some of the absolute most expensive apartments in the world. The fact that there are some people out there that spend like hundreds of millions of dollars on like their 17th apartment is just fucking nuts. <laughs> and then you live at like, you know, the 90th floor or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. No, man. I'm very happy playing video games. I don't need that much money at all. But it just seems wild to me that there's a market for people out there for like, you know, apartments that are hundreds of millions of dollars where they will only spend like a few months every year. Or the fact that there's like a backlog on super yachts. Like apparently there's a lot of uh, super yacht manufacturers in the Netherlands. The fact that apparently they can't make them fast enough. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> it's so dumb. Uh, it bothers me. Yeah, it does bother me. I mean, people can do whatever they like with their money, but... It does seem a little absurd that there's, you know... A lot of people that are struggling with basic stuff and then you're getting your 17 super yacht out in sea that you're not using either. Anyways, that's a political discussion for another time, but... Alright, assembling machines. Can I? Ooh, I can. We're gonna go ahead and automate the production of conveyor belts. Mark three. These are the fastest ones in the get in the in the game. Nah, I don't really like talking about politics too sliding. much. I mean, this is a low hanging fruit, right? Because everyone kind of agrees on this. But still, I don't know. Hey, thank you, Dallas. Why am I building this all the way out here? All right.
Um, do I want to bring this back to my main production line? Because then it was even more dumb for me to build it all the way out here. Because my main amount of stuff is right over here. So my main um, conveyor belts are over here. The sorters are over here as well. Why does it say storage? Oh, it says storage mark 2, but stor sorter mark 2. I was going to say something's weird here. All right. So here's my sorter mark 3, which are the ones that we want to have. Do I want to store my... I probably do. Um, so I want to ideally store my conveyor belt Mark III in this same area. That would be really nice. I should also try and actually throw these back on the conveyor belt, I guess. Uh... So eventually I can set up a logistics tower right over here. Anyone else tuning in for the inspiring music? Me, me. Bro, why did I make it all the way out there? Do I really need it that far out? It's because my graphene is over there. So I guess I kind of got a little carried away. Is this stupid? Should I... Uh, spaghetti is starting to become an issue, guys. <laughs> We're starting to spaghetti. Now! Now! This is what I was trying to avoid. See, now I'm saying, ah, fuck it. And that's how it starts. Suddenly, you can't find anything anymore. I think it's fine for now, but, like, it's starting to become a problem. It will become an issue at some point. I don't really need that much scalability on my... Ah, okay. Fuck it, boys. Let's go. Hey, nice. Subtle. Yeah, the playthrough of my uh, my Elden Ring stuff is currently going up on more loco, in case you want to go check that out. The logistics drones are what we can use to clean up the spaghetti. Exactly. That's the plan. No, actually. Oh, shit. What? That's for future loco. Exactly. You guys are getting the hang on my mindset now. I don't know if it's good advice. Future loco will have many problems to deal with. Nice. <laughs> All right. There's a call for 80 mile wind or 80 miles an hour winds, hill and tornadoes in my area. Dude, this morning. So last week, right? Last week. It was practically summer in the Netherlands. It was really nice. T-shirts, 22 degrees Celsius, the whole thing. This morning, there was snow. I woke up in the morning, and it was snowing. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Sounds like t-shirt weather to me, Loco. Okay. Canada vibes? Yeah, it's uh, uncommon, but...
I was gonna reploy it. What is the Dyson Sphere project? It's a game where the goal is to make a Dyson Sphere. Okay. It's a uh, it's a factory builder. A Dyson Sphere is a device that theoretically humans might be able to make one day. It's where you essentially create a, uh, a capsule like around a star. The idea being that you can get so much power out of that. Ooh. My whole factory just went dark. Wait, what? No, it didn't. Oh, I just barely didn't connect the line. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was gonna say no, please. I just missed the line. Oh, all right, we're good. Hey, level three production, baby. Let's go. So these are level 3 conveyor belts. I also want to put my leftover conveyor belts right over there. Okay. Is it ever going to insert anything though? Ah, it's okay. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. That'll be a problem for who? <laughs> Whose issue will that be? <laughs> there it is, boys! Level 3 conveyor belts. Hell yeah. I'm gonna need a lot. Future Loco has got lots of issues. I wish you could just throw one of these on one of those. That would be really nice. Okay, fuck it. Okay, so we'll need to uh, paint the entire planet in conveyor belts soon. Oh, it's because my power is not high enough, is it? So why am I why why is my power not good enough? I only have about a 60% satisfaction rate. Which is true. Sag. Um Build more pylons. We gotta burn more oil. Nice clean oil. You and Rushy should do more 2v2s. Yesterday's rerun was. Yeah, yeah. Dude, Rushy's great. Burn it! Oh, right. I ran into this problem earlier. So it's too close, Chad. Close your eyes. This is because of the curvature of the planet. Ugh. It needs to have an additional space. Ugh. I hate it. Which one is the burner? Burner. 
Thermal power plant. Which one's that? Am I blind? Probably. What? Am I dumb? Oh, it's right there. Right, obviously. The power shit is all in the first line. Rather than automating all the thing, I hand make all the things. What's up, Starfall? Can I ask for assistance late later? Ooh, that sounds sus. Pepisas? Uh, it did with Secretarius, yeah. So, I don't know exactly how much I still have, but probably a lot, yeah. So we're using some of it, but not that much. New subscriber detected. Flexing the 81 months, and I get to stay home a little more because of icy roads. It's a good day. <laughs> that does sound like a good day, Rushy. People crashing in traffic. Poggers. <laughs> Thank you for the 81 months, Rushy. That's a long time. Good on, uh, Mr. Mugetsu. Yeah, we were just talking about Rushy. If you say Rushy three times fast, he actually appears. It's amazing. Okay. My power load is becoming a little bit better, okay? Nice load, thank you. I, I do appreciate that. I always wanted to have... Uh... Oh, never mind. Why was I the topic of the conversation? Uh, that will remain a secret, Rashi. I'm afraid we cannot and will not discuss this. You will just have to believe that uh, it was positive. Or was it? I'm deleting the VOD right now. It's gone. No, I think it was Wolfie that said that my... Uh, what did you say? That my content was really elevated when Rushy was on my channel. So I teared up. And uh, I send all my subs to your channel. To the VOD I go. All right, guys, prepare your pork champs. Oh, there it is. The mightiest of mighty conveyor belt. Pick it all up, put it in my backpack. Detected. Thank you, Nickel, for the 16. Game's over. Wrap it up. Agreed. Alright, guys. I think we can start painting. I see a level 2 conveyor belt and I want to paint it. Level 3. No level 2s anymore. I just want level 3. Am I already out? Am I... 
I'm already out. Dude, I need so many. I <laughs> I'm gonna need a load of those, man. I <laughs> I need thousands. Alright, I think we just let it rip. We just let it run for a while. See how it goes. Okay, Wolfie. Wolfie, calm down! SMH, my hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's what I'm gonna do, Arnaren. Yeah, it can't output fast enough. You know what I need to improve that? A level 3 belt! Really? Really? Of course, game. Of course. Always gotta be a pain in the dick about it, huh? Classic. Can you reach it from there? Is that... Can you, can you like... <sighs> I don't know why the game can be such a such a nuisance when it's come to these kinds of things. So, game's like, mm, you know what? No, mm, you know what? No, <laughs> can't do that either. All right, this is gonna be a bit messy, but it's a temporary thing, chat. If you're a German viewer, I suggest you close your eyes. My symmetry is ruined. Soon your day will be as well. Bro, are you fucking kidding me right now? I could still only put one. Never mind, German viewers. I'm gonna have to do this a better way. Oh, you know what I can probably do? I could probably just do... Like this. Bro, I am so fucking smart. <laughs> Can't believe I came up with this. <laughs> I am so smart, dude! It's honestly almost unfair. Right. <clears throat> It's a bit smart, but not too much. Thanks. I believe that was a compliment anyways. I choose to take that as a compliment. Dude, look how fast it is though. Am I Iron Man? Basically. <whistles> More! I need a level 3 conveyor belt, dude. There it is. Dude, that is so fast though. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I 
You're going back to California in three weeks, Andy? Nice, dude. California to bottom forgettable. Is that gonna be you, Andy? That's gonna be you. Isn't California shitty? I've been to California a bunch of times. The parts of California I saw were awesome. Now, now there's also some shitty parts. California has got basically everything, man. They've got a little bit of everything. The whole state is worthless, Loco? Okay, then. They don't have cold weather? I think they do. I think if you go up north. I run out too quick. I guess I'm just gonna have to do this when I have literally thousands of those things like sitting in my backpack. I mean, I, get, I make them pretty quick now though. Almost as good as Texas. California? <sighs> I feel like we're getting dangerously close to American politics, guys. I mean, most subjects are just one step to American politics, but I feel like this one... Or sorry, two steps, but I think this one is one step to American politics. Whoa, whoa, sis admin, what is this then? If I didn't know any better, I thought you'd be roasting me. I find that hard to believe. Okay. I need to upgrade my production of the blue shit. The Netherlands has a GDP. <laughs> Excuse me right now, chat. What's going on right now? I didn't realize this. We were discussing uh, Texas and uh, California and Andy going back there. And now suddenly this has turned into roasting Loco in the Netherlands. I mean, it's fine. Don't get me wrong, but... Streamers don't have feelings anyway. Can't believe you guys would just make fun of me like that. I have literally never done that before, ever. Anyway... <laughs> uh, what's this? What is the bottleneck? What are you? You're the green engines, aren't you? Green engine production is slowing down, guys. Why is it slowing down? Okay. Um, I need more of those engines. Why is this engine production not fast enough? Because I just don't have enough of them. This production over here is also not fast enough. Uh, that's because this production over here is not fast enough. Okay. I might have to do some serious extending over here. But I guess this will do for now. I wish power went from building to building and you didn't have to put down power lines. Ah, maybe that's stupid actually.
Okay, that should make things a bit more organized and a bit faster. Hopefully. Why do I just have a random chest of these things sitting there? Probably had a good reason for it. I suggest we empty it. Okay. Level 3 conveyor belt production is looking pretty good now. Ish. I need way more of this stuff, though. Uh... Yeah, I don't, I don't get enough of those. I really need to improve the production of that stuff. I need like a full conveyor belt of that crap, ideally. Uh, with a level 3 one, that's going to be hard. Yeah, the ones in the back aren't even working. What's going on, Starfall? You keep asking if you can PM me. Just, you know, <laughs> I don't think we know each other. What's up, dude? Are we going to discuss private matters? How private? Yeah, how private are we talking? Look, what can I DM you? Lohan? Sliding into the DMs with Loco. Now, if it's a business related thing, you can reach out to LocoTV at SideQuestMedia.com. Otherwise, just let me know in the chat, dude. Or you can let me know on Twitter or wherever. Yeah, do you have an NFT for me to buy? Because, I mean, I'm very interested, but also not much at the same time. Are we DMing Loco? Gabe probably is. Okay. Uh, green engine production still not fast enough. Despite the fact that I'm emptying the chest over here. Um, but, uh... What are you guys lacking? New the other engines, huh? Detected. New car unboxing stream win. <laughs> What's going on, Melvin? Thank you very much for your one year. I appreciate it. And Gabe slides into my DMs on the daily, yes. <clears throat> I slide into Gabe's DMs, you know. It's uh it is what it is. You're actually jealous? <laughs> You're jealous that okay. I'm not a very good DMer, dude. Gabe can let you know. Sometimes I don't respond for days. I'm fairly certain if it wasn't for the fact that I'm streaming and like making content every day. If it wasn't for that, I probably had many people thinking I died or something. And like, you know, because sometimes I have a tendency to not get back to people for a long time. I'm pretty bad at it.
I gotta make sure I break all the right things, not the wrong ones. Don't break the wrong shit. Oh, you know what? The main reason here is just the fact that I don't get enough on the conveyor belt. Right, I had the same problem some time ago. Can I balance this by... Hello? Is this already a level three? Oh, it is. Um, can I balance them? I would have to wait two to three days for a message. <laughs> no, I think it's fine. I don't really, like I'm not. I don't know, I'm not much of a... At, le at some point you realize, I guess, that I'm not dead. I'm just, you know, slow. We'll try and balance it a little like this. This is gonna potentially create other problems in the future, but... That'll be an issue for someone else. Not me. Luckily, we're aware that you're a little slow. Thank you, guys. What's this? Get out of here, Mother Nature. Stupid plants. Oh, lack of item. Ha, ah, this is not the time to have a lack of item, dude. Am I really gonna add on some level ones as well? Okay. Fucking trees, man. I agree. Trees suck. I'm kidding. I love you. You're a good tree. I'm using Mark 1 belts like a fucking plip. Yeah. It's embarrassing, honestly. What if my mom watches this stream? Alright. I need to power up my character. Loki, you have Mark 1. Yeah, but I, I don't have any Mark 3 belts in my backpack anymore. That's the issue. Okay. I gotta load up again. On base resources. Uh, right over here. Okay. Got 2.7 gigajoules. I am the gigajoule right now. All right. Pick them all up. Don't need that many titanium ingots. Don't need any of that. Get it out of here. All right. Bro, I'm seeing absolutely zero. What happened to my conveyor belt production now? Yeah, now there's a couple coming in again. <sighs> Embarrassing, dude. Still out of blue motors, huh? 
We're gonna have to run that line again. Green motors here are not being produced effectively. Because once more... I don't get enough of these. Why are you not being produced? Oh, you all have base resources? Hell yeah, dude. Nice. Good job, Loco, in the past. Loco in the past kind of nailed it, dude. Kind of. Not, not quite, but like, sort of. The only problem is that I need to extend this line over here. And I don't know how. I mean, I can. I just need to, like, run everything slightly differently. Okay, so I want to extend this all the way over there. First order of business, I suppose, is to change this input line over here. 